Now, I think at one point the question of auxiliary bishops, and for certainly I do recall, um, they they mentioned studies that were done yeah. on the consecrations, whether or not this could be done canonically. And so, can you can you maybe comment on that part of the interview? Yeah, I, I think you know Jim's use of auxiliary bishops is is incorrect, and it's not just Jim. I mean, the Society Bishop Play himself has has used this term, saying Lefebvre just wanted to appoint auxiliary bishops recognizing that they weren't true bishops <laughs> that were sent by the Pope with canonical mission. But look, they're not even auxiliary bishops. An auxiliary bishop is a bishop who has habitual jurisdiction from a bishop with ordinary jurisdiction, who's one who typically rules uh, over a diocese. And so uh, the society bishops are not uh, ordinary bishops because they don't have an office in the church. They don't govern a diocese. But they're also not auxiliary bishops either because they do not have habitual jurisdiction uh, mm -hmm. under the authority and delegated by a bishop with ordinary jurisdiction. So, you know, they throw these terminologies around, but they're incorrect. And your your um, your reference to the study, Michael, is, is interesting. Mm -hmm. There was a study done and it was actually commissioned by Archbishop Lefebvre himself. And I do have a copy of the study. <clears throat> Archbishop Lefebvre wanted to know before he engaged in these consecrations in 1988, you know, whether he had a theological position to do so or whether the act would be schismatic. That was truly the question he was trying to resolve. Would this be a schismatic act? <clears throat> and the study that was done in the early 80s was done by um, the lead name on it is Father Bizig, uh, who ended up, you know, leaving the society with a number of priests and, and, and then forming the fraternity of St. Peter. Uh, that study concluded that if Lefebvre would consecrate bishops against the will of the Pope and without a pontifical mandate, um, it would be contrary to canon law, and if against the will of the Holy Father, would be a schismatic act. Mm -hmm. So, look, the position that I'm articulating now, Michael, is mm -hmm. the very position that Society of St. Pius X priests articulated to Archbishop Lefebvre before he committed the schismatic act. This is what the study is. I don't know if the study is out there. I do have a copy of it. Uh, it, it may be out there on, online, but it was led by Father Bizek. And again, their conclusion was, uh, you know, Your Excellency, if you go forward with this, you're going to be committing a schismatic act. And he did so anyway. And then the certain faction of priests left to form the fraternity. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. God bless.